So the last video I posted seemed to go over pretty well with the higher-ups in the atheist community. I pointed out that their diplomatic and more kind approach to Christian atheist in interactions not only was it more pleasant, but it was actually more effective. It's a much better way of communicating with people and getting, especially people who disagree with you, getting them to actually hear and listen to your point of view. And they seem to appreciate the sentiment and it seemed to go over pretty well. So, at the risk of poisoning the well, and burning up all the goodwill I earned, let's go to a subject that is potentially a lot more controversial. Yeah, it wasn't all that controversial the last video. You guys are really nice, it works well. Oh, thanks. <laughs> it wasn't, wasn't, a lot of, wasn't a lot of melodrama involved, you know? Your, your, the approach that you use where you guys are really nice works for me. Okay, well, it works for us too. Yeah, so, you know, pretty much case closed. Now, let's go into much more potentially dangerous territory. Subject came up about two or three weeks ago on Twitter itself with these same people. And I imagine we're going to have a lot more trouble with this one. What is the best superhero movie? Yeah, let's poison that well up. Let's stir that pot up. What is the best superhero movie? Now, actually, the premise number one probably isn't going to be all that controversial. I imagine anybody who's interested in the topic is going to agree with me on the first one. That the best movie by far is The Dark Knight. That's the best movie of the whole bunch. Yes, the Marvel Cinematic Universe, far superior to the DC Cinematic Universe by like leaps and bounds. But the best movie of the whole bunch is still The Dark Knight. Now, my take on The Dark Knight may be slightly controversial. Um, it's slightly overrated as a movie. As a whole movie, it doesn't quite completely work. The reason why you don't really notice that is because the one standout thing about it is the performance of the Joker. I mean, the Heath Ledger performance of the Joker is absolutely off the charts brilliant. And it is, without question, one of the ac actually top 10 movie performances since the year 2000. Easily. It's one of the best performances in any movie since the year 2000. And, like I said, easily. And that really elevates the entire movie. It makes you think you're watching a great film because his performance is great and it stands out. Other than that, there are, there are actual flaws in the movie. That's the part that may be controversial. The ending doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. Batman's got to disappear um, and pretend like he, it, he's to blame so people don't lose their faith in humanity or something like that. Why? <laughs> it didn't make any sense to me. But still, it's still the best movie of the bunch. Now, I don't imagine that's going to be all that controversial of an opinion. My, my other opinion, maybe. My second favorite, or the second best movie of the bunch, is actually, in my estimation, Captain America Civil War. Now that, yeah, that's, that's the one that I think is the second. Now that may be very controversial. I don't actually know. I don't know how people rank these movies, but I imagine that there's a lot of people who are going to disagree with that. Part of it was the conditions under which I saw it, which dramatically affects how you view these types of movies. Saw it in the theater. Sometimes I'll watch them on Netflix or I'll watch them at home. This one I saw in the theater, which usually dramatically increases how much I enjoy the film. I saw it alone. Oftentimes I go to these movies with my wife. Now, I love my wife, <laughs> but it doesn't, on some, it has a, a plus side to going to the movie with my wife, and it has a downside, for sure, especially with these superhero type movies. Um, so, that may have dramatically increased my chances of thoroughly enjoying the film, but I thoroughly enjoyed the film, especially the scene in the airport is just classic. I thought it was off the charts, brilliant and fun and just hilarious to watch. So that would be my second favorite. Now, the ranking after, the fa after that. I would say the first Iron Man. Then I would say the first Avengers. The second Avengers I actually thought was kind of a lousy movie. I, was, I really didn't like it very much. That may be a controversial 
opinion. Then after that, I would guess, or I would say, maybe Wonder Woman? Is that possible? Wonder Woman is the only, outside of the Dark Knight series, Wonder Woman is the only DC movie that's pretty much even worth watching. Now, I enjoyed the Suicide movie. Uh, Suicide Club, Suicide Squad, whatever, whatever they call themselves, the <laughs> Suicide Guys. Even though it's a lousy movie, it is a lousy movie. So i got to qualify that. But I really got a kick out of watching it, mostly because of, uh, mostly because of Harlequino. I thought her performance was great, and I thought her character was really fun. So I was entertained by the movie, even though I accept that it sucked. It really did. It was a lousy movie. The, bat the whole series of Batman. Batman Begins is a really good film. The Dark Knight is, is a classic film. And I even thought the third one is really, really, really good. I seem to be alone in that, but I thought it was actually excellent. I would rank it pretty high, and that, mostly because of Anne Hathaway. Amazingly, I thought she was really entertaining and really fun as a Catwoman, and I really enjoyed that movie. Again, it's uneven, and there are a lot of people who point out flaws in its execution, which are easily recognizable. <laughs> the entire police department goes underground, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's a premise, not very plausible, but all right. Um, but I still, I really got a kick out of that movie too. Outside of that though, the DC canon is pretty much a disaster. Um, it's just as bad as everybody thinks it is. And, and, you know, hopefully they get their act together and actually make movies worth watching because it would be good to have competition for the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Now, the, the, the first Avengers is a great film. Both the Captain America Winter Soldier is a great film. Captain America Civil War is my favorite of the bunch. I thought all three Iron Mans were really good. That may be controversial. A lot of people didn't like the second one. I really did. I, I really got a kick out of it. Now, this is supposed to be a dialogue, not a monologue. Um... So I was just opening up the, the topic for conversation to see what other people think. But that's, that is my assessment of... That is my assessment of the superhero movies thus far. Like I said, potentially stirring up the hornet's nest. People get inflamed about these things. But I'm interested in anybody's response more than I'm interested in my own opinion. So let's hear from you. How would you rank these movies and what do you think are the standout qualities and why? So that's all for now. Amen.